Hi, hello there. It has been such a long time since I've done one of those brief self-help videos. I'm sorry, I've just been slammed, but I'm back and here to share something else with you. And please post in the comments if there's something else you want to know, because that will give me an idea on the next video to do. So anyways, in this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to change the settings of a meeting already scheduled for Zoom. Maybe you didn't even realize when you change your settings in Zoom, it does not automatically change your already scheduled meetings. That has to be done separately. So here's how to do it. First, I'll start out at home just so you can see this is your basic remote. It might look different to you. You might be used to seeing it like this. Maybe you didn't even realize you could shrink it to make it look more like a remote. That's what I personally do. I don't need that calendar feature, but whatever floats your boat. And if you click here on meetings along the bottom, this will give you your already scheduled meetings. So you could hover over it and that's when you'll see the option for the three dots here. And then you get additional options either to copy the invitation, if you need to send it out again, edit the meeting, delete the meeting, or join from a room. So I'm going to click on edit. And then this is where we can actually change the meeting settings. You can change the title whether or not you want it to keep recurring, what meeting ID you want it to use, if you want it to have a password, which of course I've masked for security purposes, and then if you want the video by default on or off, same with participants, how you want audio to be handled. A little note, I do recommend keeping telephone and computer audio both on because that's the only way that someone will get the phone number so they can call in if for some reason their app is not working or they're not by a device. And you can also decide what the calendar functionality is for attachments. So if you accidentally had selected Google Calendar before, but you're wanting an Outlook appointment, you can change that here. And then you can click on Advanced Options, and then this is where you can actually enable or disable your waiting room, enable people to join the meeting before the host does. If you think you're going to be running late, but you want them to get in and start talking, you can check that box. You can check to mute participants on upon entry by default. You can select whether or not you want the meeting to automatically record on your computer. And then here is a big one. This is where you can put alternative hosts. So if you want to give someone else the option to start the meeting for you or to also have the same controls, this is how to do it. So if you have a reoccurring meeting set up where you're not always sure if you can make it, an alternative host is a great option. So make sure you just enter their email address here. And they do need to have a Zoom account for that to work. Once you've made the modifications, you can go ahead and click on Save. Now, because you modified the meeting, you will get a new appointment that you'll then want to save and close because this is how your calendar will be modified. And then if you had any additional people in that invitation, it would give you a save and send so that they too can update their calendars as well. A very important step, don't skip that one or else they'll still have the old link. And that covers it. I hope that was a helpful little tutorial for you. Until next time, catch you later.